Hey everyone, it is that time of the year again where many of you are probably looking at getting an iPad Pro or maybe you already have one and you wanna use it for artwork. Today, we're gonna to look at some of the best iPad accessories you can get to make your drawing experience that much better. Now, although I'm gonna go in order from least important to most important, in my opinion, and that doesn't correspond with anything here on the table, um, make sure you stick around to the end because there might be something that's more important for you as an individual, depending on if you pick some things or decide to leave out some things. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first on the list is the Apple Pencil. And you may be thinking, of course, Josh, that doesn't need to be on the list, but it is technically an accessory, so it does. I believe you really need to use a stylus to get the most out of the natural creative experience of drawing on the iPad Pro, so I definitely recommend you get one of these. Now, there are two versions. You have the first generation that works with only the iPad models as well as the iPad Air and Mini models, and it starts from about the sixth generation up, and then you have the second generation. These only work with the latest iPad Pro models, which is the second gen iPad Pro I have in front of me. They're both fantastic when it comes to build quality, and they have great pressure and tilt sensitivity as well. However, the second gen is just nice. Second on the list is actually right here. This is a matte screen protector. Now, I personally recommend the brand Paperlike, but there are many different others with varying prices and qualities that you can take a look at on Amazon and other um, online vendors as well. Now, they have a pretty nice texture to draw on that is very, very like drawing on paper, if that's what you're coming from. And if you're like me and many others, you enjoy them for the sound that they make. Now, there is one major drawback to using these types of screen protectors, and that is the image quality of the display is going to become either pixelated or grainy, or maybe even have a rainbow effect, depending on the brand that you get. This means that compared to viewing content with the naked glass screen, the image quality is going to be a little bit worse. However, in my opinion, it's not that big of a deal, but for some, it can be very, very problematic. So try and get your hands on one and test it out before you commit to it. Or maybe just get a cheap one and see how that feels. If you've seen my previous video testing out the 7th Gen iPad, you know that those things don't matter for me because a slippery screen is just a nightmare. <laughs> now for the third thing on this list are my stands. I've got a few stands that I've collected over the years and they each have their pros and cons. So I'm gonna go through each one really quickly. The first one is the Steklo X stand. It's tiny and super portable as you can see here, but it barely props your iPad much more than off the surface of the table that you're actually drawing on. The second is the Park Slope. This is an all aluminum hybrid laptop and tablet stand with really nice rubber grips on it to keep your iPad in place. It's the most sturdy stand I've got here and it has a much better comfortable drawing angle than the Steklo X stand here. However, if you are very heavy handed, you might have an issue because weak tablets could potentially bend since there's a large open area you're going to be pressing on um, depending on you know how heavy handed you are with drawing. For me, it's never been an issue across several, several months, but yeah, I think it's worth mentioning. Also, it's not very portable because it is in fact the heaviest tablet here, um, even though it's not the biggest. Third, I have a little bit of a mixture of the Park Slope stand and the Steklo X stand. This is the CabCon tablet stand and it's aluminum and plastic and it folds down into a pretty small size and extends with some force as you can see that I'm trying to put here. It's got enough tension to hold up my 12.9 inch iPad and it can rotate to basically any angle that I want, making it super ergonomic. <laughs> <laughs> the only real downside is that it's kind of easy to tip over, so you really need to be keeping that in mind when you're using it, which isn't really that great. Now to conclude our stand lineup, we have the new Laxi laptop stand. It's intended for laptops, so it's pretty, pretty tough, and it also is very difficult to adjust it. You've got to use some force, but it keeps my iPad rock solid at any angle I want. Like I can have this all the way up vertical if I really want to. It's also got a very large footprint, which means it's very difficult to tip this thing over. Like you really have got to be pressing hard. You have to actually press at this top at the front to get it to move at all. And if you press here, it just barely moves. It's got an all aluminum design with these little rubber feet here, which makes it look pretty sleek, even though it's very robust at the same time. This is actually my personal favorite stand to use at the moment because I don't really draw much on the go anymore. 
Next up, we have a pencil case. And in particular, this is the Belkin pencil stand that doubles as a quick place to put your pencil when you aren't drawing. Or maybe you put it there because you're wondering why you haven't found your art style yet. <laughs> it also carries those super, super easy to lose extras that come with your Apple Pencil. Um, and that has saved me quite a few times. You can even put your little cap there for the end and lock it up. Number five on the list is this little guy, the uppercase nimble grip. It's very new to my routine, but it's helped a lot when doing these long non-stop drawing videos. It's got very good quality rubber and it feels soft yet rugged at the same time. And what I love most about these is that they have these little flat angled edges that rotate around the surface, which make it really comfortable and easy to grip. Number six is something even newer to my setup, and this is the Artica Smudge Guard. This is a very nice quality feeling fabric glove that keeps your hand gliding smoothly over the iPad surface as you draw. I found it also increases the accuracy of palm rejection and keeps your iPad screen pretty clean if you're drawing for long periods of time or you don't really feel like washing it over and over with a cloth or, um, you know, a smudge cloth thing. <laughs> this is one of the accessories that I recommend a lot if you don't want to use a screen protector because what it also does is keep your hand from transferring oils to the surface of the iPad. And when you do that, it keeps your Apple Pencil from skipping. When you transfer oils to the surface of the bare glass, you can draw on the surface of the glass, but once you hit the oil, it kind of speeds up and then it slows down again. And since the tip is really rubbery, even though it's matte, it's very unpleasant. And um, so yeah, if you don't want a screen protector, definitely get one of these. And finally on the list, we have my Logitech K380 keyboard. I never intended to use this thing for my iPad when I got it, but I got it a few years ago and it's been very handy the few times I did need to use keyboard shortcuts in Procreate. So it's also got this cool feature where you can use these three buttons to press them and switch to three different devices at the same time. So I actually end up using it frequently for my iPad and my computer behind me and you could also use it for your phone if you wanted to. So you've got all these accessories, you've made some fantastic art with your new iPad, what do you do after that? Well, you probably want to make some prints of your work. This plate was super kind and sent me my own artwork printed on their amazing quality metal art panels. It was super easy for me to hang this up and it looks amazing in my studio. It even came in this really sturdy box that people think all the time is an art piece itself. I am actually seriously impressed with the quality of this print and it actually makes me feel like a better artist than I am. It's really a cool experience to have such a nice quality product that you've pretty much made yourself because it's your artwork. I'm definitely going to get more of these to fill up my blank studio walls and give it some character. If you're interested in them, check my link out in the description box below. So that is it for my favorite drawing accessories. Do you guys use anything similar to what I use or maybe you use something different? If so, let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for a future video on how I take advantage of iPad OS these days for my creative work and hopefully some accessories that you can look into purchasing yourself to speed things up because this might actually end up being a computer one day, who knows? <laughs> so in the meantime, stay positive and keep drawing and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.